Hello, I'm back again. My God, she's on live again. For God's sake, that woman loves attention. <laughs> no, no, I'm now back on to do astrology readings. This is for you guys. Loves attention. Oh dear, <laughs> here we go again. I'm going to cut that off. Every now and again, it kind of automatically stops the the um yeah it stops the the uh, noise the volume and then other times it just automatically turns it back on again and um i don't know i don't understand the settings not that i've changed anything anyway we've now not got any uh any noise again it's just uh, good so i don't suppose many people are up unless i know greg's just called me that's why i was a bit late coming back on because I had a lovely phone call from him. Him and his sister are watching the sunset on Siesta Key, um, Florida Beach, looking at the sunset. They've been to the drum circle and um, they then went for a meal and then they went, oh my goodness, that would just be paradise for me. I would just love to be with the both of them. Both have lovely energies. Um, his sister's just so wonderful very laid back like um like greg you know just really nice so love to um tara and greg right now enjoying the sunset um and um and hello to anybody who's still um awake um let's have a look i'll get up facebook make sure i turn the sound off Let's go. Oh. Let's turn that down. Goodness, I'm trying to get this this up there. Oh no, that's the last. Oh, that's the last one. That's the old one. So we need to get rid of that one. Wow, I'm not having much luck here. I've put new nails on and I just can't seem to get them to work. It's like you've got to do it sideways because of the nail. I got an account warning from Facebook. So I'm in the club now. Um, that's my first one. So I'm in the club. I know. Oh. Oh, so, so Deb, I've just got your message here. Um, so I haven't sent it off yet. It's literally sitting here, your parcel. I have weighed it and put a priced, um, a postage label on, but I still think I'm under that weight anyway. So I'm just going to put a slice in the, in the box and slide it in if that's okay. So if it's not wrapped nicely, that's why I'll just add that bracelet in there for you. So I'm pleased you like it. It's beautiful, these Feng Shui um, bracelets. And I've put so much positive energy into them. And I have actually added, um, because when you actually buy these bracelets from, you know, I don't know, Amazon or whatever, they, they come just with these beads and they call them black obsidian, but they're not, they're just plastic beads. Um, so I've added in actual black obsidian beads. Um, and I've also coated the gold um, I've coated the gold in um, in a substance so it's not going to tarnish easily. So I know that they say just don't get them wet, um, but this this basically means that even if you did a little bit, it would still be okay. They'd still last that bit longer. So yeah, so uh, Debs, I've got that. But obviously, I message you after the live as well. Let me see if I can find. There we are. Um, so Trisha, she's also an insomniac. She must be. Um, she's still up and she's from the UK. So hi, Linda. For some reason, I see you living in Miami, at least part time. Oh, well, you never know. You never know where I'm going to be. I'm always open minded to it. As long as I'm with my my man, I really don't care where we where we go. 
I'd love to see F uh, Florida though. Um, that uh, I mean, I've been to Florida, but um, I'd love to to live there. But when my kids are are when my grandchildren are older, a little bit older, and um, and my kids are, they, I still feel very. We're still very close, all of us, the family. So um, I need to be close to them. Uh, so Trish said, yes, my sleep is messed up again. I know, maybe we're supposed to be in America, Trisha. Maybe we should both move out there together, but later. <laughs> Just editing a, f a video and saw you pop up. Oh, yeah, definitely with my Greg. Yeah, so they're on the beach having a lovely time. So it's good that your intuition is really kicking in, Linda, isn't it? Um, your psychic ability, it's about believing in it, isn't it? It's really good. So this is my mug that Greg made for me. Look, nothing about vanity here, having your own picture on your mug. <laughs> um, but psychic alley, isn't that lovely? So, yeah, he's also, this is another one that he made for me it's this one so this was for my 50th so um there we go and a little message which i'm not going to read out because it's um not that it's really personal it's just kind of like it's just a message for me yeah you seem to be on us time zones i know i was before i met him oh do you know what guys i listened to the reading that I did for Greg on the, um, the first day. So the first reading, the first time that it actually spoke. Um, I've obviously got our first date, if you like. It's like a first date. Um, and I've got that actually listed and recorded. So I was listening to that and I, all the stuff I was saying I was talking about me being in his life, but obviously I was saying there's a lady and uh, she's kind of a water sign. She's bubbly. You know, she's, I'm kind of describing myself. And honestly, I would not, when I was reading for him, I was thinking he's a very good looking man. But, you know, you can hear in the reading, he was kind of giving some sort of hints and things and being a little bit kind of, not flirtatious, but Kind of like, you know, I said when there's a lady, you know, there's a lady coming into your life. Um, and uh, and he said, and how do you feel about that? And I was like, I'm happy for you. But it was like, he was trying to give little hints and things in the recording. So I don't know. Um, me and Greg have, have said about even sharing that because it is quite an amazing um it's an amazing story, amazing start to the story, because I'm even predicting like he was supposed to come over in May and he didn't, he couldn't, but I was predicting it, that he was coming over in May. And of course, things do change, timelines change because COVID crap came in um, and he ended up coming over in July. Well, I, I did the reading, we uh, met on the 31st of March, 2020, and um, so I read for um, April, May and June. So I always do three months. So, yeah, it's so brilliant. So it would be interesting for people to show. Maybe we'll edit some of it, maybe. But um, I'll talk to Greg maybe later today or tomorrow. But it's fascinating, isn't it, that you, you know, you're reading for your twin flame, not knowing that they're your twin flame, but feeling this almighty kind of connection. And I'm trying to stay professional and do the reading professionally, even though I'm thinking, he's such a good looking man. Wow, he's lovely. But no, I'm not interested, not interested. He wouldn't be interested in me anyway, but I'm not interested in anyway. And gobsmacked me when he then revealed to me um, later on in the reading, he said that it had um, gone on to Todd Medina's um, friends list and saw my face there and got drawn into my nose, 
that's how he put it. Um, he didn't say I remembered. He just said I got drawn to your um, smile. So he was kind of like trying to tiptoe around it. So yeah, it's quite interesting. <laughs> Made me feel very happy. So, um, so this just goes to prove that anybody can meet anybody in any time, even in a lockdown. When people, and in England at that particular time, we were not allowed out of our homes. We were only allowed out for food shopping and to get prescriptions and nothing else. So even under those circumstances, you can still meet the man or the woman of your dreams, literally. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do astrology readings. Where's my little book? There we go. So it was gonna be with Brandy, but I did message Brandy. Um, I wanna send some love out to Brandy. Um, at the moment she needs it, she needs a, a hug. So um, I'm not surprised that she's not able to do readings today. Um, because it was going to be that I was inviting her to do um, some readings, bless her. Um, so at the moment, she just needs lots of love and lots of positive energy at this moment. Um, bless her. So um, I just need to, I thought I was all organised and I'm not. So I still dream, Trisha said, I still dream about the guy I told you about. It's three or four years now. Um, the difference is I know him just never physically met in this lifetime. Yeah, it's, you know, we have no idea until we go over there exactly what our connections are um, with the people that we are around. You know, even our friends and family. It is... Um, you know, it is amazing, you know, you know, this, it's like a soul group. We're linked as a soul energy. Um, I'm going to have to turn the camera off a minute um, because I've got to go over there and I haven't got one on. So I can't stand up. Um, that's true. True love does not hurt. So when they say true love hurts and that kind of, um, you know, that song, it's true, Linda. It, it doesn't hurt. It shouldn't hurt. It should just blend. It should just, you know, just bl blend into your life. So it should be. Okay. That's what, exactly what was going on with, with Greg when he had the reading. Uh, so Trisha said, can you imagine if I told him um, he might think I'm nuts. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, um, this is what happened. Um, he said, well, what was I supposed to do? Tell you. Hello, Ali. I think I'm your twin flame. I would have definitely deleted him because at the time I wasn't accepting friends requests from men because I was sick and tired of being hit on. Now, that's not me being egotistical. I'm talking about kind of, um, you know, what it is like girls. Um, you know, you get foreign, foreign men usually who, you know, say that they just want, um, you know, they think they want to marry you and they've never even met you and they don't even know if your photograph's completely true. So, it, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so what do I need? About that height. Does it need something about that height? Pestle and mortar. Ha! Sounds wrong. As JCK, that's a big donger. So, another um i i just uh, resonate with her because um she does lots of innuendos and is a bit naughty just like me i like that i like that i do okay, so let's move my microphone a bit i'm gonna put that upside down there i'm then gonna put that on there and then that should be the right height for my little thingies i think we're done 
I don't need to get up now. This is a good thrashing stick. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I'll put that on the floor. There's nowhere else to put it. Okay, can I show you um, my creation? I created, I made this. It is my um, second attempt at a pyramid. So this is my second attempt. So it is a, a light, so you just can switch it off and it just be um, a pendulum. Sorry, a, a, a pyramid. And I can do any colours that you want. So if you want one, you tell me what colours, what colour scheme you wanted on each level and I'll do it for you. And I can put a coil um, in there and make it an orb on if you want as well. Um, but so that's without the light and this is with the light. Okay, so do you like it? So I know I can do better and I'm going to keep, keep practising keep practicing but yeah this this is my newest creation and that's rose quartz in the top there there's kind of you can't really see it but that's kind of clear and then this layer here is rose quartz yeah so i was well chuffed with it and i said to greg i promise you i'll unravel it and um i'll, I'll um you know because it's like the demolding after all that time, because you have to do it, um, you have to do it and, and then wait 24 hours uh, each layer. So you can imagine it takes a long time. And um, so I said, right, I'm going to, but my grandkids were over and they wanted to do it. So I knew we wouldn't mind. Uh, so we did it together. So we unraveled this uh, pension. Of course, Hallie can't, can't see it, but she felt it. And I told her all the colours um and um and she could see it with the lights on she could just sit she's got a little bit of vision in a little you know her eye and um, i haven't told you but um she's got one eye that is half it's half brown and it's half blue it's like cut in half one brown one blue very interesting um but um yeah that's our hallie that's my granddaughter so i had them the weekend i had those friday nights so um, Hallie and Logan, because the other two little ones, Olivia and Isla, they're too much. I can't go running around after um, the toddlers. Um, so when Hallie stays, Logan has to be her carer. He doesn't do it at home, but he does do it here. But then I do pay him. I say, you know, um, can you help out? You know, because he's a teenager and he wants things, doesn't he? So it's a way of him earning a bit of extra cash and up and out is, is nan nan at the same time. All right, I'm going to get on with it now. Ellie, get on with it, for God's sake. Stop talking. Oh, hello, Mary Jane. So who have we got here? So we have um, got Linda, Samantha Hurst, hello. We've got Trisha. Um, we got Patricia, we've got Elaine. Hi, Elaine. And who else is there? I saw someone else. So Elaine and Mary Jane and Deb. Oh, Deb, I've just seen your message. Um, I don't know if you saw the first bit of this video, um, but I got your message about the bracelet and I will put that bracelet in um your box but what i'm going to do so i don't have to unravel the whole thing i'm just going to kind of cut us um cut something in the side and i'm going to slip the bracelet in there so it won't be all nicely packaged up but it is secure in there so it, it won't kind of move about because i've got kind of paper um that surrounds it all so um um it will be in there is that all right um so so yeah um but, um uh, Deb bought the bracelets. So if you wanted to have a look at the bracelets I've been making, feel free. Um, they're on my Facebook page. I've got more coming. Um, I've got the long uh, necklaces, the feng shui necklaces with the pigs in. Right, so um, what are the dates um, for this Monday? So it'll be the 1st to the 7th, won't it? 
So 1st of June to the 7th of June. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So what birth signs have we got in the chat so far? And then we'll see what, uh, what we'll start with. Which ones? What birth signs are you? So Deb is Aries, so we've got a fire sign there. Okay. We've got crab, we've got Mary Jane's crab, so that's, um, and what is your sun, moon and rising? Okay, so um, let me know that as well. Um, so Mary Jane is Cancer, so it's water. And then um, Elaine has got Leo and Aquarius. Okay, so that's the fire and air. And air sign as well, Gemini, Virgo. So we've got a right mixture, haven't we? So we've got a little bit of everything. So it really doesn't make much difference. Um, it's not just one big set. So uh, Trisha, so uh, Linda's a Virgo. Trisha is Aquarius moon and Virgo rising. Okay, so Aquarius is air, Virgo is earth, and Deb is Aries, Leo, and Virgo. So we've got fire sign, fire sign, earth, and fire sign for um, Linda. So that looks as if there's quite a lot of fire, doesn't it? So we've got Leo there with Elaine, Aries there for Deb. That's fire. Okay, so we'll start with fire. Um, and then we'll do earth, then air. Okay, should we do that? Does that sound about right? So we we'll start off with fire. And then what did we say? Then we'll do, what did I just say? Air. Yeah, air. We'll do air. So Linda is Moon Sag, Sun Sag, mainly main sign is Virgo. Hmm. What did I just say, say I was going to do next? So I said I was going to do the fire. Then what did I say? Was it air? And then earth. Then water. Anyway, I'll wait until you guys message because um, there's a bit of a delay. Air, I did say air. Okay, so yeah, so we do Aquarius, then air, then earth, then water. Okay. So. In that order. Okay. All right, so. We'll start off with air. We're going to start off with Leo. Okay. So Leo. Oops. Isn't quite, or it is. It's just the right height, actually. Okay. Or not. Yeah. It's not if there's a pop up come up on your computer. <laughs> but it's okay otherwise. Okay. That's better, I've got more room now. <laughs> okay, let's have a look and see what's going on with Leos, okay? So if you don't know your sun, moon and rising, then I would um, look it up on uh, Google. Just put in what is my sun, moon and rising and it will show. Okay, so I'm gonna record. Okay, just checking it. So. Um, is it going to upset anybody apart from me to be recorded? No, because it's just me. Okay, so Leo's. Um, so Leo is um, Greg's daughter. Hi, Brittany. This is um, Leo's. 
So I think Sharon Poe is also a Leo. Okay, so um, what's going on between the 1st and the 7th of June, 2021 for Leos? So this week will start with a lot of independence, okay? Having to do things independently, um, feeling as though you're kind of being left, um, left to it. You know, it's like, what can I do? You know, I've just got to get on with this. Okay, so, you know, for some of you, that will feel perfect. For some of you do enjoy just being, um, you know, on your own, you're quite an independent bunch. Um, but for a lot of Leos, Leos tend to like attention. Um, they like to kind of have an audience when they're being funny and when they're kind of in that sort of move, mood. But they've also got this other side to them where it's it's where um, they like um, they like to be lazy and they like to just kind of chill and let other people just entertain them in the background and not having to worry. Imagine a lion, okay? That's kind of a lion energy, isn't it? Okay. Um, they get bored and they like to know, um, it's like there's a there's a lot of activity over there. There's a party energy over there. I'm going to go um, there. So that is the kind of um, energy with them. And that's how it's going to start off um, in this week, Leo's. I do feel as if there's a definite direction um, of, of your attention. And this is going over to um, a project that you feel that you can do. Now, you've already been in this, um, this mode of achievement. Um, so it's all, already you feel very proud of yourself. Um, but this is indicating that um, there's another level okay that you can do there's another level that is going to go forward this level is going to be very exciting um but it will feel as if am i truly ready for is it is it something that is in my capability okay and if it isn't um, um then you will be guided away from it so try and tune into your guides energy um tune into your guides and say okay is this the right time for me? If it isn't the right time for me, um, then can you intervene on my behalf? So give your guides um, the, um, the permission um, to, to steer you onto the right pathway next, okay? Um, so this is that's to do with your fire desires. So that's linked with projects, hobbies, um, you know, levels of, um, of ambition, as in going up um, onto new dimensions, new, new kind of, um, you know, achievement levels, okay? So these achievement levels can be within yourself. It's like, I know I can push myself further, um, I know, but can I be bothered? Is it what I want? Is it going to make me happy? So you have that dynamics with you, but it depends on the mood of you. OK, so there's an emotional feeling of being drained. Somebody close to you is feeling um, emotionally upset. Um, they could be pushing their emotional upset at you um, and then expecting you to feel guilty about it. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to or they're not going to be able to make you feel guilty at this time um, because you're in this energy of, well, that's your stuff. That's not mine. Um, I can feel for you and I can try and cheer you up. Um, but at the end of the day, it isn't my fault because this is your life. OK, so you do feel quite grounded about that. So the middle of next week, the middle of next week, this is it. You won't be judged. Um, you're not playing that game. OK, you've risen above that kind of um, guilt trip energy and allowing people to do that to you. And this time it's all about kind of being centered within your own energy. You are gonna be spending lots of money out. And I do feel as if there's an unexpected 
um, payout, an unexpected, um, I don't want to say just bill, because it feels as if it's something more than that. Um, it's an unexpected um, expense, okay, that you're going to have to um, look into. For some of you, you're going to break free um, from, you know, having to pay that or, you know, it's like that is over, you've overcharged me um, and being able to point that out, okay? I can see links with um, Love Life around um, Leo's. For some of you, this will be an emotional connection. So this will be a family member or somebody who um, is emotional around you. And what I see about this is that there has been a disharmony growing within the, the both of you. And then this is now, now moving on and being much, much easier, much better. Okay, this is a connection that you once had in the beginning stages of your um, of your connection when it was really really good was brilliant uh, but then it kind of like drifted and now it's back and now there's, there's a lot of more positive energy around the both of you so i can see a real togetherness here okay and that is linked with um, either love life family friendship um, that sort of thing acquaintances okay but um Okay, and then the end of this month. Hello, Vera, good morning. Um, the end of this month. Okay, so it's like the clouds or the cloudy energy of the fuzziness about not being able to make up your mind is now starting to disintegrate in front of your eyes. And you can now see where you're going. You can now see what the future is. is um, no pun intended, what the future has now got in offer for you. And uh, you're going to be feeling very, um, you know, positive and able to think past any problems or obstacles that might have been in your way before. OK, um, there is going to be a character around you at this time who is the direct opposite of how you're feeling. Um, and this character is going to be um, dissecting their life, dissecting everything um, about your, about their life, about, you know, decisions that they're making. Um, and this will be very frustrating for you. Um, so you can find that their energy uh, depletes your energy. Um, so it's try not to be around this person as much. Um, try to um, kind of, it, it's like, Sometimes it's avoiding, you know, it's like, oh, I've got, got to run, I'm busy or you know, that sort of thing. And I think because you can't be around this all the time, um, they just drain you. So this person um, is, is not feeling positive, is not feeling happy. Um, it's like the people that are watching the mainstream media are feeling very depressed and very lethargic and, you know, everything's kind of like, you know, heavy and, you know, they're watching the fear and there's fear coming out of their pores, there's fear. Um, but then the people that are awake are feeling very positive and feeling very excited about what's now coming um, into the limelight and uh, just how marvellous it's all going to be. So, um, so yeah, there is a, a, di a very big difference in people um, and that's what you're going to be seeing quite a lot of. Okay, so that was Leo's. All right, so for Leo's. So we're now going to be doing Sagittarius. Let's try and move that over a bit. So we do Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm just going to heat up my drink. Like I said, it's not that I drink a lot of these Horlicks, it's that I get it's like half full and it's freezing cold and I can't drink it. If it's, if it's cold, I can't drink cold drinks, you know, cold, hot drinks, put it that way. So, um, so you'll have to forgive me, keep having to boil the kettle, it's to beside me. So I'm gonna do that table. That's better, isn't it? Okay, so who else is there? So it's Vera. 
Vera's here. You can always join me here, Vera, if you want to. Um, but I know that she's worried about her, her Benji, bless him. Um, yeah. It's a shame. He's got, he's got tummy upset. Uh, Benji's her doggy, just in case anybody's new here and doesn't, uh, doesn't know what, uh, um, who Benji is. <laughs> so. Okay. So I'm just going to. Make myself the drink. So Linda, if my moon and sun are Sagittarius, should I take into account as similarly as my main sign? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about enough about astrology, Linda. Um, I might do the readings for astrology and I know the basics, but I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm no expert for sure on that. Not by a long shot. I don't follow the, the astrology. I'll tell you what I want to learn. I want to learn runes and palmistry. That's what I want to learn. comes my cat now just so he doesn't hear me if he comes up I can't give him any treats because he's turned his nose up at his favorite treats he's just been a little shit at the moment so I happened to buy him because I'd run out and I wasn't going shopping I happened to buy him I gave in and bought him a bulk supply of the treats that he usually loves and he's just gone nope so naughty our pets it's like because they can run rings around us they really can he's feeling a bit better had a long stroll and some water you know, doesn't want to eat his kibble but that's okay my great grandmother read palms and tea leaves did she um is that stephanie it is stephanie isn't it mary jane stephanie Okay, so we're going to do Sagittarius now. Okay, let's have a look and see. Now I've got Sagittarius moon. Yeah, Sagittarius moon. So I didn't know that my sun, moon and rising. So when I was listening to the reading that I did for Greg, the night we met, and I was saying there's a Sagittarius female here, but she's very, you know, she's very... Um, you know, warrior light. I can't remember the wording, um, but she's not aggressive with it. She's just kind of fired up about things. And I said Sagittarius. So it's like I've got Sagittarius um, moon, but I didn't know. And then I was talking about Pisces, and I am a Pisces. I'm Pisces Sagittarian, and I've got Moon uh, Libra rising. So can't believe it. When you listen to this reading, it's jaw-droppingly accurate with everything that's going on. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So I'm going to concentrate now on Sagittarius. This is 1st of June through to the 7th of June 2021. Just for my guides. Okay. Starting off this week, we've got that kind of business mind head um, is going on around you. Um, now, this business mindedness can be another person. It can be yourself. Um, I'm seeing lots of humor, lots of fun, lots of excitement. Um, I'm seeing, um, you know, when there's a, a banter going back and forth banter like somebody can really take your sense of humor and totally understands it and doesn't take offense nor do you um so there's a really good energy okay around you um and this person and i do feel that it's you and another person um i'm seeing a meeting and this meeting is going to go very well 
Now this meeting can be um, a doctor, solicitor, bank manager, estate agent. Um, it could be a date. It could be an interview. Okay, it's just where you arrange. It's an appointment that you would make. Um, you know, this is the date we're going to meet and this is, you know, where. So it's kind of one of those. I'm seeing books around you. I'm seeing kind of writings in books. So um, I'm seeing some of you are actually writing a book or some of you, it's like it would be a good idea uh, to be writing a journal at the moment. Now, don't forget that we, you know, some people that are still asleep are not going to get this at all. But the people that are awake, you have no idea um, how it's like the history. This is going down in history, what is happening right now. This kind of this war that's going on in the background um, between light and dark. Um, and some people are sleeping through it. It's quite amazing. Um, but I feel that uh, you're going to be around, um, you know, lots of people in the in the in the far future he'll be very interested in what was actually going on okay and so that's why journal writing would be very good right now because this information would be interesting to others the next generation okay so around the middle of next week well for some of you i'm seeing love life and spiciness where you're really getting on very well with um you know your partner if you have a partner if you don't have a partner um then you are sending those signals out to the universe um and the universe is then um uh, complying with your order and saying okay we will send you someone we will send you what it is that you desire okay so um so it, it's just like make sure that you know what it is that you do want um if you haven't got that partner that you just desired okay so make sure um because this is like a the if you like the angels coming in and taking a mental um a mental note of what's going on in your mind and your wishes and your dreams um so you need to be as accurate on these as possible so keep positive um and keep sending those signals out there so if you're in a relationship and it has been going through some difficulties at this particular time, then you may find um, you you may find that um, it's getting better uh, because we've got kind of that spice energy that um, it, it's where you know when you fall in lust again. Uh, sorry to be so, but uh, you fall in lust again. Now, for some of you, there won't be anything to do with love life. Because I'm doing a reading for all the Sagittarius um, energies out there, I have to um, cater for all. Um, so, because obviously if I was reading for one person, I would be um, pointed at that person, all the energy, and I would be able to tell you what, what, the, what it is for you, just what I mean, as a person, uh, but because it's out there. So I'm gonna give another scenario. Um, to some other people who are not linking with um, love life at this time. Um, so this would mean that friendships and family members, there has been some difficult times or there's been lots of stress around. Um, and this is the feeling of celebration, celebration around each other, um, get togethers, um, you know, lightheartedness, um, laughter, um, and most of all, kind of that love energy. Um, I feel that there has been a big change. So we've seen the endings and we've seen the beginnings of, you know, different, um, different kind of, it's like we're on a different timeline. That's what they just said to me. We're actually on a different timeline. So the timeline that was going, we would still all be in very much lockdown. We would still all be very much um, in the, the trap. Okay. But because lots of people have, um, opened up and um, spoke out um, about this. It's not that they're going to say, because you have spoken up, we are now going to uh, lift all the, all the bands and everything. Um, but, you know, they'll, they'll say oh, it was all, always a plan. It was always a plan. 
Um, so what is happening is, um, you know, the, the they have been listening. Um, they have, it's like there's a, a revolution building up and it's like a pressure cooker. And if you don't relieve this pressure soon, it's going to uh, overflow. So what's happening is that is bringing together family members, um, loved ones, um, meeting new people, having new experiences and feeling that celebration energy. Um, so that's all that's going on around the middle of June. And I feel quite excited for people um, to have this again, because there's been lots of people who have felt uh, very much alone. OK. Um, all right. So the end of this week for Sagittarians. OK, so there's somebody who's not been very well and um, you have been looking after them or maybe it's you that's not been very been feeling very well and you're look, not being looked after. They're showing me some keys and they're showing me um, new beginnings with new opening of doors. So there's lots of new opportunities that are coming up for you. And I feel this is linking with um, money, finances and, um, you know, work matters. OK, but I don't feel as if they're here yet. It's like you are you will be aware of these opportunities. And I feel that you need more information. OK, before you go forward. Um, there's also it's like you have to make sure that everybody that could be affected by your future financial decisions, um, you know, you need to make sure that everything is in place and everything is 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 lined up and organized. Um, it's like you have to look at your home life and make sure that everybody is safe and secure in your home life. Um, and uh, yeah, that's important. OK, so that's Sagittarius. OK. Right. So we're now going to do Aries. So I know this is Vera. There we go. Who else out there was an Aries? Mm hmm. So, what did we just do? Fire, didn't we? Leo, Sagittarius. We're now doing Aries. Okay. I think this new system that I've got here, I think is better. So that you can easily watch the video if you don't want to listen to all the kind of banter and stuff. You can um, fast forward it, can't you, to your birth sign now, a lot easier. So we've got Vera who's an Aries and Deb who's an Aries. Okay. Write myself a note. Oops. Okay. So Aries, this is for you. I'm going to use different cards right now. Okay. Let's build up the energy for Aries. So 1st of June through to the 7th of June, 2021. Right, all shuffled. Hello, hello, Tamara. Hello. Oh, so you're an Aries too. Yeah, I got your booking. So, yeah, that's no problem. I look forward to that. Okay. Right. So, um, right in the middle of this focus energy, and you feel quite overwhelmed with all of these. Um, Everybody else around you depends on you in some way. And you're then feeling as though I've got to be very careful about 
what I choose now. And I want to show you, I want to show you this. So look at this card. So these here are all of the, um, it's all of these things that you've been nurturing, okay? And this is in the past. So this is like, well, I learned this skill way back when I was kind of at school. Um, and this skill um, came from when I was at college or university. And this skill um, I learned when I was a mum and this one. So it's like, I'm just going to say that all of these are all going to add up to this wonderful opportunity or wonderful um, either self-employed project or a chance of starting that perfect business or doing that perfect job um, that will bring in that perfect amount of money. Okay, so, but you have to be very, very careful at this time to make sure um, that it's going to be good for not just you, for, but for people close to you. So that's where we're starting off. Okay, now even the tower card is quite nice. So the tower card is just saying that sometimes, sometimes we have to um, expect the unexpected and understand that sometimes things happen uh, because there is a divine order. Okay, there is something um, on a bigger scale that is... Um, it's kind of steering us into, it's kind of all oh, they're going too much that way when their future is that way. They've told me that they want this. Um, so therefore I'm going to make sure that happens. So sometimes they have to steer you into going in the positive direction and not being waylaid. Um, and I love this card as well. So imagine that this is your pineal gland. Your pineal gland is going over time it's really starting to um, emerge. And I feel that you are um, inspired at the moment to do more, um, inspired to experience new experiences. Um, so altogether, the three cards means that there is a, a massive change that is coming about, um, linking with your work, linking with your future pathway, um, on your ambitions and your destiny. Okay. And you're just having to be a bit careful about making permanent decisions. So this is the middle of the week. So by the middle of the week, you feel you're feeling this. OK, so really, you're free. Really, everything is OK. But when you look um, too closely, it's like you can actually pick out um, disaster. Uh, warning, disaster, um, you know, this, this, this and this could go wrong. So they're saying to you, um, I want to say, ignore this, okay, and look at the actual, um, the actual person, look at where you are, look at how far you've come, um, know your own strength, and know that you can achieve so much, okay, and all you have to do is to stop looking too closely, okay? Um, and the high priestess energy is basically saying that you are, you know, it's like um, a very powerful, wise person who can quietly um, make up their mind using their um, own judgment and their own um, positive kind of... Um, it's like little downloads. Um, so what you, so trusting the intuition, what do you feel that you want to do? What do you feel is going to be best for you and go with it? And then you've got this card, which is the star, hopes, dreams, and wishes. Okay, this is all to do with kind of the things that you desire and want. Okay, so when you've got these three cards together, um, what I'm seeing here is that you've got to follow your dreams, follow your wishes. Don't complicate things by, by dissecting things too much. So if things do change and, you know, pathways um, become blocked, it's like treat it as it's, this is the universe telling you not yet or don't go down that pathway. This is the new pathway. Or maybe you haven't been yet seen the new pathway and you just got to wait. Um, so it's like the universe is helping you, even if you can't see it. Okay. 
so then the end very very similar cards actually um so then the end of um june for sagittarius um once again it's like you are then getting the justice look at this um so this is the light seers tarot they're absolutely beautiful um so very similar with that reflection card look so the reflection is now clear okay you're now able to see um you know a way up the pros and the cons and it's like you are in a more balanced balanced um energy so it's like you can see better from this angle or from you know how things were to how things are now with that little bit of time out um you've been able to get clarity and you've got your justice the temperance the balance you've got that balance energy um that feeling of i know now okay and then the six of swords um in a lot of the tarots um they are in a boat and they're heading to the shoreline and they're having to put their trust um into that and you can see the birds are actually leading the way so these birds birds can fly further on into the into the distance uh, to see what's coming um, so if they are leading the way then you know that you're um, heading in the right direction and this does indicate a journey so I don't know if somebody um, who is listening to this is going on holiday or is thinking of a trip um, that would be why something to do with the red maybe you should wear red this week Aries um, maybe red is kind of that vibrancy that you need. Okay, so there you go. Um, that is for uh, uh, Aries people. Okay, so. Right. Okay, so we've done the fire signs. So what do we say? We're going to do the air signs now. Air signs. So we start with that's my pleasure. Aquarius. Okay. So Aquarius, and then we will do Gemini and then Libra. Okay, so we've got any Aquarians out there? Oh, that does taste good. Mm -mm. So I hope Greg's having a nice time watching the sunset. Um, I shared a little bit with him. Yeah, and his sister, his sister's there. Mm. I'm enjoying this drink. Right, Aquarius, have a look and see what's happening with you. So Mary Jane said rising sign is Aquarius. Okay. So Aquarius people are usually quirky characters. Um, they like being different. They don't like running with the same energy as everybody else. They like to, um, you know, be unique. And they are unique people, Aquarius. Okay, so we're going to do the 1st of June. Three, two, three. End of June. No, sorry, the 7th of June. 1st to the 7th of June. 321. Four. No, I didn't get that. Four, Aquarius. Okay, trust your instincts. Three of Wands, Devil, and then Moon. Okay, so with my Three of Wands in this particular deck, um, it's like 
you've been trying to do something that you felt you wouldn't be able to. You felt it would be not achievable. It's like I've never done, never been able to do it before, um, but I'll give it a go, I suppose, um, and we'll see what happens. And then you're really pleasantly surprised that you have done better than you thought. Okay, so a feeling of really being excited about, um, you know, the, the outcome. Okay, so um, I see this as kind of um, somebody trying out something here. Okay, so, um, so it's, a, it's a mini celebration. So it might be that you, um, other people might not see how well you've done, but you do. Okay, um, so we then have the devil card. Even the devil card I like here. So this basically says there's temptation on its way. Um, so you're going to be in the situation where it's like, oh, I don't know whether I should, shouldn't, should I stay this side of the fence or should I go that side of the fence? Um, will I be bad or good? Good or bad? So you're really in that, that big dilemma energy. Okay, so um, that's how the week starts off. Um, and you then have the moon card. And sometimes it's like um, you've got to look at the polarities, the light and the dark. You know, um, is there such a thing as being naughty or bad? Or is it, is it all experiences? Um, now, anybody who knows what's going on uh, with the truther um, information, we would know, um, we would definitely know what is um, definitely bad. Um, you know, on that term. So I'm just talking about the everyday kind of choices that we have. You know, it's like, um, should I have that cream cake or not? That sort of um, lighthearted stuff. Um, but um, so, yeah, you're facing that dilemma. OK, the beginning of the week. Um, by the middle of the week, middle of the week, we've got um, talking and conversations about rerouting or moving. OK, this doesn't have to be you, but this will this will affect you. It will be somebody close to you. So it could be someone else saying to you, oh, hi, I'm moving back to your area. Or, you know, um, have you ever thought of moving here or there's going to be conversations about it? OK, um, and that will start off around the middle of this next week. Um, there is um, a definite feeling of wanting to protect yourself a bit more um, than normal. Um, now, this means that, you know, with the energy of somebody being naughty or somebody around you being naughty or bad to you or, you know, about you. So um, this is you kind of put yourself in a safety bubble and saying, you know, I'm going to stay in here. Um, I'm going to think of myself um, and I'm going to protect myself. So sometimes there's no reason for us to really protect ourselves. You know, we're just feeling that little bit more vulnerable, that little bit more sensitive than normal. Um, so when you're feeling this, make sure that you listen to it. You know, it could, could save you from being, um, from feeling worse, okay? Or it could be that there is something uh, brewing up and that you've actually, um, you know, made it better by being prepared okay for whatever happens and if you do um heed that warning this is how things will be so look at that card isn't that wonderful the ten of cups okay so the ten of cups is where you know you've been swept along with lots of emotions so you've got all the cups there all the chakra colors um, you've got kids playing in the background and you've got two friends or whichever um, are, you know, solidarity, togetherness um, with the person that you love and the people that you love. Um, so there's a lot of things going on at the, um, the middle of um, next week for Aquarius. OK, so this would be between the first and the seventh. OK, so. Um, Look out for signs that you have to be more careful, more vigilant. Um, look at kind of the, 
you know, well, that could happen. So I need to cover myself there. Um, so when I used to be an admin uh, person in the office and people used to say to me, have you done this? And it's like, yes, I have. And it's like, well, I asked you to do it, you know, or no, I haven't. You haven't told me to do it. And it's like I had a book that was like anything that they wanted me to do. I would have them write it in a book and I would tick it off as I'd done each and every bit. So if it wasn't in the book, they didn't tell me. You see what I mean? So, um, you know, so it's basically about covering your ass um, and making sure that everything is um, is covered and, and sure. Um, so the end of this next week, um, we've got that lovely energy again coming from the high priestess. Um, and this is a lot of wisdom, a lot of hidden knowledge and wisdom. So this is about saying that you will find out more at a later date, at a very near future date. Try not to be too cynical, okay? So being too cynical uh, will actually bring you more of what you don't want. So if you say, oh, that's typical, that always happens to me. Council clear, delete that. Um, it can be, you know, that you're basically wishing for bad luck or you're expecting black bad luck. So because you expect it, it's going to come in free freefold, okay, to you, which is just no good. Um, so there's a little bit of fed up feeling around the middle of next week, sorry, the end of next week, um, a bit fed up, but I think that will only last an hour or, you know, 24 hours at the most. Um, so it can be from one hour to, but whatever that kind of, um, you know, when you've gone into the depths and you've done some soul searching, um, and that soul searching has been very important um, to you, okay? Um, you know, and we need to do this every now and again to make sure um, that we are on the right track and that we know who we are. But there is a difference between kind of um, knowing who you are and then analyzing yourself too much and being too critical, okay? So sometimes we need to be gentle too. Okay, so I'm just weaving these cards back into the deck. Okay, so that was Aquarius. So we're now doing a Gemini, okay? So Geminis out there, or Geminians as Greg calls them. Make sure I drink this drink before it goes cold again. I know this, this necklace is a bit much, but I do like it, it feels a bit Egyptian-y. I definitely have had an Egyptian past life. I really feel very strongly about it. Mm. Don't know what stage, but I definitely felt that. Mm. Okay, so Gemini's, I have to keep saying the date because it tells my guides um, that we're working in that time frame. Okay. First to the seventh of June. Okay, so we're going to do some Gemini's. One more. Okay. Nice cards. Okay, so this is the start of your week, Gemini's. So look at that, the two of cups. You know, this is real togetherness. This is a lovely energy um, of two people connecting on such an, an in an easy way, in um, a very kind of blending kind of energy, okay? Um, so it's also about a spiritual connection or reconnection, okay, with somebody from, um, I feel, your soul tribe, as they put it. Okay, so this can be a romantic connection. It can be just a friendship connection. Um, it can be a family member. And there's this realization that you two um, have had many lifetimes before together. So this is um, all to do with you and another person that you're really connecting to. Now this card, although it seems a bit kind of much, 
if you imagine that sometimes we're at a stage in our life where we just can't see what is going on, okay? It's like blatantly obvious to other people, but for, for you, it's like you need it to be spelt out, um, you know, and it's like you could actually take that the, the blindfold off and actually know the truth, but maybe you're not ready for the truth. Maybe there's a situation um, linking to this uh, connection that you have with someone and it's like, I don't want to see it. Okay, I don't want to see what that connection is, or I don't want to know in case it's not something I like. Okay, um, this one just feels as if it's kind of like a traffic-like energy. It's like all in good time. You've got to be patient and wait for more information. Okay, and um, so that's to do with another person that you feel very um, connected with. Um, so then we've got the start of a new financial system, a new financial, um, you know, it's like an opportunity that is, has come along um, that is going to start the ball rolling with, um, with new beginnings, new money. Okay, so it's new money, new opportunity. It can be promotion, extra responsibility uh, within um, a situation that is very, very, um, very strong energy around you. It's like you have got the opportunity to make money this way. Um, what are you going to do about it? Now, this can mean this. You can take this card to mean anything, really. Um, but sometimes I see this card as somebody running, um, you know, getting on with it. OK, knowing the direction they're going um, and they just want to get on to kind of their bike, get on and um you know get get fast forwarded onto um the next part of that project okay but i suppose it could mean um to some of you somebody running away from responsibility okay it could be a fear of doing that or a fear that um somebody else is doing it um running away now, the reason why I have to give you lots of different scenarios is because some of it will fit you and some of it will fit other people. OK, and I'm not being deliberately vague, but I have to um, honor both both journeys. OK, both timelines. OK, because I'm reading for lots of people. Um, so the nine of swords, sometimes we worry ourselves too much. Um, we get ourselves all tied in knots and this keeps us awake and we um, are feeling as though we, um, you know, we're, we're in this kind of cycle of everything's going wrong or why am I here again? Now, if you are on a cycle of, you know, everything seems to have changed, but then we still wind up in the same place again. Um, sometimes we have to, we go back to things because it feels familiar and it feels as though that is the best thing for us because it's familiar, because it's safe, okay? Uh, but other times we have to say, actually, this, this doesn't just feel safe. This feels, um, you know, it's zapping my energy, okay? It's actually zapping my energy. So I feel that there's big decisions and big worries on you at this time, um, knowing that you can't carry on as you're doing. Um, and something needs to needs to happen. Okay, so then um, the seven of swords. So once again, this feels as if somebody might be coming along and taking from you um, something that you cherish, something that you want very much. Um, and if this person is um, around you, then sometimes we need to protect ourselves um, from anybody making us feel as though we're not fully in charge of our own life. Okay, so if you've got um, a situation where it's like you're being called upon to step up and uh, get on with it, step up and make something um, happen. Okay, um, don't just rely on the universe to just, um, you know, change things for you. Sometimes we have to do it first. Um, and that is in order to protect yourself and make sure um, that, you know, whatever is needed um, to be done is being done. Okay, so it's like, make sure that you, if you get any downloads of information, 
um, that you are doing the right thing. Okay. So you've got the magician with it, which means that your spirit guides are sending you these little tests, are sending you this information. So it's like they're saying somebody around you is not to be trusted. Someone around you may be um, saying one thing and meaning another. Um, and it doesn't have to be as dr dramatic as, you know, someone around you is having an affair or someone around you is, um, you know, it can just be little things like they're hiding the fact that they are sad or they're hiding the fact um, that they are worried about something, okay, that's keeping them, them awake. And it's like, what, what can you do about it? So sometimes we have to maybe be playful and go back into the past and how things used to be, um, go back into what made um, my friend or my family member or my lover, what, what made them happy, what made them open up to me before, you know, how can we get back to that, that, that frame of mind? And a lot of the time it's reminiscing about, um, the, you know, just how good things were and taken back into a time where they felt safe and secure. OK, and once you, once they are there, you may find that they'll be able to open up more. Or if this is you, then you could open up more um, and uh, explain how you really feel. OK, um, because a lot of the time um, we don't ask how someone's feeling because we kind of um, we've been taught not to. OK, but now at, at this particular time in our lives, it's very important to concentrate on those feelings and make sure that um, you express yourself as much as possible. Okay, so there you go, Geminis. That is for you. So we're now going to do Libra. Yeah. So Libra. Okay. So after this, we're going to be doing the earth signs, I'm throwing the cards everywhere. So we're going to be doing the earth signs. Oh, interesting information. So love it. We may have met there. Well, yeah, Debbie, you never know. I mean, you know, sometimes when you read for people, you get that connection as if you've knowing them for a long time and I do feel that um definitely with with Deb and a lot of the people I've read for um so Mary Jane gorgeous necklace I knew you during the French Revolution we probably did um I was definitely at the French Revolution because um, my guides told me I was um and definitely at Egypt so me and Deb met in Egypt and Mary Jane and I met in the French Revolution <laughs> Yeah. So, okay. So this is Libra. This is my my love. This is my Greg. Um, this is him, and this is also my sign as well. My Libra rising, um, but he's a triple Libra. Okay. So let's concentrate now. So I'm giving them the dates again. First through to the sixth. Need to do a bit of a clearance on myself at the moment. Okay, so every now and again, me and Greg do get these kind of little attacks, psychic attacks coming at us. Um, and um, we're basically um, sending them back to sender um, uh, three times the amount. Um, but um, I'm now getting a bit sick of it. So I'm doing it more so. So I'm doing it 10 times the amount now. Um, so <laughs> they can have that back, um, whatever energy. So some people, it doesn't mean that they know um, what they're doing. Sometimes it can just be that kind of negative energy. Um, but I don't know if anybody else has been feeling this. I had this, I, had, I did a live the other day 
um, because I do feel as if we're all going through something like that and um, we do have to you know keep grounded and um, understand these um, if, if something's feeling different it's probably because it is okay different energy means different things okay so beginning of um, this next week for Librans okay so interestingly enough there seems to be some game play energy going on so this is somebody who is mucking about and um, keeping things delayed or keeping things um, I don't know they're, they're just it's like they're playing a game of chess but with your emotions and I do feel that there is something happening okay linking around this okay I'm going to show you the card so the emperor can mean a father figure fatherly character it can mean somebody in authority so he's got a game of chess there he's got a chess piece okay um i think that's the queen okay so this is like saying um i'm playing with your energy um and um i'm you know not taking this seriously okay so and then you have the card that says um it's money it's to do with money exchanging um it's to do with kind of the energy of that okay and um it's like sometimes we are we need to be careful what money is coming in where it's coming from and making sure that uh, we use whatever money is coming in wisely okay so there is some situations close to you at this time um, that is searching for um, being um, it's like being transparent and open okay and it's to do with money matters and finances okay at this time okay um and then you've got the ten of ten of swords which says that you have got the capability of thinking ahead and manifesting what it is that you want okay and this ability that you have is very strong and it is very um you know very much in your power um so it mimi and greg have been doing some manifesting and we did manifest, you know, you will hear from them tomorrow. And then they did contact after a month of not. So um, we, we literally have been working hard with those visualizations. So I think these cards for Greg and me are saying that we need to carry on with the visualizations. Um, so if there's something as well that's in your life, uh, Librians, uh, where you feel as if there's a manipulation energy um, around you or around the situation um, connected to you and sometimes we have to send the signals out to the future um, to let the future know what it is that we want but in the meantime um, there is some exchanges of money and I feel that um, it's like I've got lots of different money coming in lots of different directions I need to nurture each and every one of them okay so that is the beginning of next week so by the middle of next week we've got that lovely feeling of celebration achievement happiness i've done it victory triumph we've got the card that says rebirth so things starting out things moving on everything being okay this goes towards the reading that i did for greg when we were trying to find out when he would find out when the news would be i said at the last last end of the week okay next week um so this is what i'm seeing so this is the restart celebration achievement so that obviously for other kind of um librans you've got the balance of money and everything is balanced out and under you're understanding what this was all about so it's definitely about clarity definitely about kind of um you know somebody somebody um giving you the answer to the question that has been um well it's just been held back information has been held back the information is now coming coming through and it's like you you're now getting some leverage something to do with leverage 
leverage, leverage, something to do with leverage on somebody. Sometimes we, not blackmail, but sometimes we need to say, hey, um, I do understand what the truth is and um, I'm going to be keeping my eye on this situation um, because it all does feel as if, um, you know, you are now in the clear, okay, and you now have the victory. You have the power over, you know. So in the beginning of the week, we had somebody playing mind games and somebody playing a game of chess, okay. And for you now, it's like I have got the power back, okay. We've got the, the rebirth and we've got the victory card, okay. So um, the last week um, is the Hierophant, spiritual teacher. So this has taught you many, many lessons, uh, whatever you're going through at this particular time. Um, lots of lessons have been learned, okay? And you're still feeling very happy, and very centered, okay? Um, you are looking at, um, you know, sometimes we have to look at just different aspects of our personality. Um, and we have to kind of weigh up, um, you know, who we are, what it is, okay? And every now and again, there seems to be a routine energy um, that is around you that says, okay, so this is what we usually do around this time of year or around this kind of energy when this is happening, um, and that's what we need to do. But there's somebody around who is feeling as if this does my head in, Somebody around doesn't want the routine and somebody around you does, okay? Somebody thrives on the routine and somebody dreads it. So I don't know, this is a conflict, just what I mean, back and forth, okay? Um, but sometimes we have to, you know, what do you feel about it? Are you happy with it? Um, and if you are, then it's up to every individual um, to work out whether they are ha truly happy or not. Okay, so, and we're all able to do that. It's okay. So there you go. So that's all the air signs, okay? So I'm just going to color in my little book, make sure. It's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. That's all the air signs. So we're now doing earth signs. I can't remember what you are, Lee. I'll probably ask you this every time. <laughs> so we will start off with Taurus, then Virgo, and then Capricorn. Okay. I suppose a lot of people have... Um, past life connections in Egypt. There were very, there's a lot of mysteries going on in Egyptian times. So let's have a look. Okay, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, 1st of June through to the 7th of June. I've got to say um, that I watched Simon Park's latest video and very interesting it is, okay? It's, it's basically that a lot of these um, deep state people have got a deadline of the 1st of June to make their mind up whether or not they are going to... Um, I don't know, uh, speak out and tell the truth about what they have been doing and what other people uh, that they're close to are doing, or there is going to be a you know, more public arrests. Okay, so there have been public arrests, but maybe, um, you know, we haven't seen it, but there have been. Um, but there are, you know, hundreds of bankers who have been arrested as well recently because, you um, they were told not to um, print out any more money, okay, because it's actually um, bankrupt. The Federal Reserve is bankrupt. Um, so they weren't supposed to be printing out any more money and they did it anyway. 
and um, I think it wasn't um, Mustang Medic, it was another guy who hangs out around, um, you know, around the, the, uh, the White House, kind of filming what's happening around that. Well, um, they, there was lots of police cars and activity and everything around the Federal Reserve building. Okay, and nobody knew what that was. Uh, but now we've just, um, you know, had some information. And this is where the bankers um, who have been ignoring the fact that, you know, this is now uh, a bankrupt corporation and it's illegal to print any more money. Um, and because they, their accounts have been frozen because of um, the indictments are going to be opened and, you know, proving that they have been uh, corrupt, very, very corrupt. Um, they've been now arrested. So this is just, you know, information. This That bit wasn't from Simon Parks. Um, that was from somebody else. But uh, Simon Parks have been saying, basically, it kind of counter counterbalanced what I was told um, on another kind of chat. Um, so Simon Parks said that the 1st of July is going to be very interesting, that certain things will will... Uh, be visible now past the 1st of June. Very interesting. So, mm. so let's have a look at Taurus, okay? Okay, so Taurus energy. Taurus people, they like routine. They like to know where they are. They can sometimes be a little bit, um, you know, sometimes it's like they've got a, their own pace, uh, which is working hard but they don't like somebody coming in and saying, stop doing that now and do this. It's like, you know, I'm finishing this job because this is the way it goes. So um, there's a lot of hard work, but it is on their terms. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, this is to do with Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Right. beginning of the week for Taurus, Taurus people. Okay, so we've got that lovely feeling of uh, celebration of friendship, celebration of people are, um, who are around you, who have got your back, people that are, um, you know, wanting to support you, wanting to be there. Now, those people may not be physical people, it could be people um, online, people in the groups that you ha are connected to, um, but either way, there's a lot of celebration energy um, all around you at this particular point in your life. Sometimes we can't see it. Sometimes we can only, you know, just because that person doesn't meet, physically meet with us, that we then think, well, they don't care, you know, or, you know, I'm feeling, um, you know, down on my luck because I haven't got a physical friendship. Um, but this, sometimes it's, you can create such a wonderful friendship with people from all over the world. Um, and that's what I'm seeing happening. Um, you know, when I'm doing readings, it's like people are kind of like a, if you think about a spider web and it's like this then uh, connects to that person and then that person connects to this person and spreads the word about this. Do you sort of mean? And everybody is then connected. So I am seeing, you know, this card as being this celebration of um, connection. There's lots of dreams, okay, about the future. Um, I'm wishing to be this, but I don't want to be judged for it, you know. Um, so a lot of people are fed up of being, um, you know, manipulated or being told, you know, people aren't going to be happy if you do that, um, you know, or people around you are going to talk about you if you don't do this. Um, so this is where sometimes it's like, do you want to stay kind of bound up in worry and in fear? Or do you want to break those shackles off and say, no one's going to judge me? Um, I am my own person. And I, if I want to go somewhere or do something or wear something or be that person, then I'm going to be that person. And um, as long as you're being true to yourself, then there's nothing anybody else can do. Okay, so you've got the magician card. Um, and this is to do with your um, 
your psychic ability and it's linking with um you know spirit guides you know it's usually they have one arm up one arm down i mean he is doing that um and that means that you know things can go either way in life you know they could be starting off with good and ended up bad um and it's like but what is good what is bad or is it all just experiences um this harmony energy um is really around you around the middle of this next week okay uh, between the first and the seventh of june um so this kind of harmony feeling um you're definitely at this point of um of understanding it's like nobody can tell you any different anymore because of what you know it's like i do know um um yeah and i feel this is about kind of not just it's about spiritual stuff it's about emotional stuff it's about you know personal issues um linking with money okay so here we've got the money card and um, this is about all of the lessons that you've learned in the past and all of the little dabblings you've ever done, they're all working very, very well. Um, and this is the reason why you had to learn this. You had to be around this person. You had to experience that in this lifetime. Um, so all of these things, it's all working out to be um, what was always meant to be. And this is saying that now, um, now we know, okay? We know uh, what all of this was about. and. Uh, it's feeling very blessed at the time. Um, and that's the balance, okay? It's like saying, you know, um, if I hadn't have made the decisions I made, I would, be, uh, would not be this person that I am now. So the magician card says that your spirit guides have been around you and have been working with you for um, since the beginning of your, um, your life here and probably beyond that as well. Okay, so um, you can see here, this is the, um, it's like a wanderer, okay? Somebody who likes to travel, somebody who likes to experience different places. So there's definitely itchy feet going on here and a feeling of, you know, where am I gonna go on holiday? Am I gonna go and visit this person? Is this person gonna come and visit me? You know, it could be, this is seen as being kind of like um, flying off into, um, you know, I don't know, a different country. Um, and then you've got the camper van here, which says that it could be just traveling around, okay, um, wherever you want to, to travel around to. But this is to do with kind of, I'm sick of being indoors and I wanna get out and about. Um, now the two of pentacles here um, just says that you sometimes have to, uh, weigh up the good and the bad and i think that there are some decisions about moving now this would be moving of home um, for some people it would be moving of you know um i don't know moving of an obstacle uh, moving on okay you're definitely looking at this moving situation in black and white okay sorry black and white um and this is like you once you decide that this is what you want, okay? And it, this is all to do with kind of decision-making um, on home moving and changes, okay? So once you get there, uh, you can look at things in the black and white, the pros and the cons, and you will then make um, a big decision um, around the end of, um, you know, next week, the 7th of uh, June, okay? So, there you go. So the pain is getting quite high for me right now. So I'm going to do the best I can. So if there's any healers out there, can you send me some healing? If that is all right, that would be absolutely marvellous. I will um, make myself another drink because hot drinks to help I'm just generally I mean I love hanging out with you guys anyway it's lovely 
and knowing that kind of people you know see things see this um later on as well and it's shared on in 5d oh thank you mary jane thank you it just gets a bit much just just builds and i'm definitely not too pain relief am i thank you vera uh, where's my paint box i think i have already no, definitely not due. Pain relief. So, it's, it's arthritis. I had um, a lovely Reiki treatment yesterday with, uh, I went around to my friend uh, Rash Pal. Oh, she's wonderful. Um, she is a, a solicitor for uh, property. And, uh, and buildings made buildings kind of um, law and um, she came in for readings when she was when I, I had the shop and I didn't you know the first time I'd ever met her of course we got on really really well and um, I did a reading and it was always quite laid back in the shop so if we wasn't busy you know they kind of stopped in and um, had, a, had another drink with us and you know and chatted away and um, you know we got talking about um, you know the pain and everything and there she is on her <laughs> on her hands and knees um, with a crystal wand and she's given me kind of crystal healing on my knee <laughs> in the shop so you know, you'd think a solicitor is going to be kind of very kind of, you know, regimental, um, but she's a very spiritual lady. And, um, you know, she knows a lot about crystal, crystal healing. So um, she's given me some crystals. They're called Aragon crystals. I think it's Aragon, Aragon. And uh, they basically, um, they can be really uh, very powerful but I don't think I've been using them the right way. So she went through and uh, showed me what, uh, yeah, she showed me what I needed to do um, with them. So I'm going to start doing the treatments more. Still awake, warming up, Benji's warming. <laughs> Warm meal always helps. That's true. Yeah, so we've done Taurus, haven't we? So this will be Virgo next. If there are any readers who want to come in and do some readings with me, um, that would support me very much. I know Vera can't at the moment, and I understand that. Um, Trisha does numerology. Maybe you could do some numerology with, with us, Trisha. Just a thought. Only if you fancy it. Um, so the link, I can give you the link if you wanted to come in to Zoom. Yeah, numerology fascinates me. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, there's a lot in it, isn't there? So, um, your is it your life path? Your life path reading. Very interesting. <laughs> it's Trisha. She will another week. She's in bed. I don't blame her. In England, it's uh, <coughs> three twenty past three. I'm trying to do my lipstick. I don't know what the message was that Vera just did then. It just pinged up, but I couldn't read it. So I don't know what she said. Hmm. I'm feeling a bit better now. I just needed that little um, healing break. So thank you for the healing, everybody. That was, uh, that was good. Okay, so here we go, Virgos. Okay, let's have a look at Virgos, the 1st to the 7th of June. 
Virgos like to plan. They like to plan ahead. Okay, so we're starting off with the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords to me is when, um, you know, when you, you sometimes have to put yourself in that kind of um, relaxed kind of safety zone bubble energy and away from the hustle bustle of everything else so that you can kind of recuperate and that you can kind of be in that safe zone um, and away from other people's uh, negative energies. So that's kind of how you're going to start the week, Virgos. It's all about nurturing this, um, nurturing this, the love energy, nurturing your heart. Um, if anybody's been making you feel, um, you know, upset or you've had any emotional upsets and that sort of thing, this is, this is all going to be about, you know, the way that you're handling things. And sometimes it's okay to pull herself away uh, from everyday life and to go into that kind of like cocoon energy, okay? And then you can then shine brightly afterwards after you've had that rest. Now this rest could be, this rest could be emotional. Um, it could be, you know, it could be physically, it could be you have a day in bed where you just don't do anything apart from sleep and eat. You know, um, you know, that might be exactly what you need. Um, so towards the middle of um, next week for uh, Virgos, there's a romantic gesture coming your way or kindness, deep kindness, somebody giving you something or making you feel happy um, just because. OK, for no other reason apart from just um you know, I wanted to do this for you because it would make you smile. So it's like they're not expecting anything. Um, so this kind gesture is going to um, change the energy that you have been feeling from wanting to protect yourself to um, feeling that energized that you want to get right out there again. OK, I am seeing justice or legal documents around um, you, Virgos, something to do with signing of papers and legalities. They are showing me that there are there is money um, that is growing in every area, okay, of your gifts. So it's like you know you're able to do this, you're able to do that. Um, that is drip feeding money in, or it can be that this is what you're organising. You might be organising that you're gonna kind of earn a bit of money from, I don't know, buying and selling your bits and pieces, to. Um, to a work situation and then a self-employed situation, but everything seems to be drip feeding in, which is a good thing. So um, you're still kind of in that saving money mode, um, keeping every, every kind of, all the money, keeping it safe and putting it into piles ready to grow from it. So it's like, it's not about, um, yeah, it's not about whether or not, um, you know, you, it's difficult to know what they want to say. So I'm just going to sit and listen a minute. Yeah, so it's all about kind of growing um, seeds and nurturing them until they're able to keep going themselves. Okay, and sometimes we have to put more effort into some than others. Okay, so it's a bit like, you know, when you're spinning plates, it's like, well, that plate's spinning nicely that plate and that plate and that plate. So when they're all spinning nicely, I can then start something new. I can then add on this. And that's what I feel there is. It's like um, adding on lots of gifts. So for some of you, especially on the spiritual um, side of things, um, there are people who are um, developing and learning new skills, okay? Um, wanting to enhance their psychic ability and the psychic powers. Um, and this is going to be more and more busy um, in this area. And I feel this is a message for me as well, because sometimes they give you little messages as well. So more and more people are going to be wanting to be woke up um, of their own power. OK, I want to show you this lovely cards as well. OK, so this is the end of the week for Virgos. So look at this. It's like 
this is the kind of the lioness energy coming out, okay, um, and defending. So it's like you are definitely able to defend anybody who needs defending, okay? And this is, so this is the end of the week. You're not going to shy away from being that lioness, just what I mean, especially if it's to do with your friends or family. You're going to be very, very protective. Um, now, this is the outcome of that. So the protective energy that you've had there is going to um, definitely pay off um, because you've seen here, this is like the trinket box um, of wealth, okay? And this is you leaping forward, okay, and saying to the universe, okay, um, so I want to feel financially secure and emotionally secure and everything is in perfect harmony and balance. Okay, and that's how you're, that's how I'm going to end that reading for you, Virgos. Um, so by the end of the week, you're feeling balanced and secure. Um, and you know that money is coming in um, and it's coming in in a way that could be a bit shocking for you. You never thought um, you would be able to earn this money or, you know, be able to be that secure. Um, so, yeah. But then again, Virgos, you are able to plan ahead and to, um, to know, you know, what is going to work and what isn't going to work regarding business plans um, and ideas um, on that note. So I'm just going to slide these cards back in. Okay. And then we're going to finish off with Capricorn. Okay. So, yes, this Virgo likes to plan <laughs> yeah we can set we can set something up cards and numerology that sounds good yeah that sounds good okay so let's have a look at capricorn okay capricorn there you go all right so Build up the energy in the cards. So this is the first to the seventh of June for Capricorn. Okay. Right, so. You know when sometimes you have to hold your hands up and you have to say, universal energy, um, show me where I'm supposed to go. Show me what I'm supposed to do. I'm at your mercy. Okay. This is exactly what I see with this card. Okay. Now, this particular deck, on most decks, I can say that um, we can see what astrology sign is where. Now, I could obviously, she has got, um, kind of a fishtail necklace on. So she could be Pisces as it's cups. And she's got fish there as well. But I don't, I, I sometimes get changed, I change it, okay, depending on how I'm feeling. Usually it's like I have my set personalities, um, but not with these particular deck, like Sears Tarot. Um, but this is how I feel with this. It's like, you know, with the hands up, it's like saying, I surrender. I am at your mercy and I trust you. Um, where would you like me to go? What would you like me to do? Okay, so it's, it's a lovely feeling, okay, going on there. That's how you're starting off the week. Um, you are gonna be juggling money. So I'm seeing you um, working out who you, who you need to pay and why, okay? So it's like you're not being, um, you're not being overly spendy but you're not being thrifty either. So it does feel as if there is a lot of thought pattern going on into your finances, into kind of your spending habits. Um, you're also looking into things that you overspend on as well. Um, and for some of you, there will be a blatantly obvious one. When you actually start to look into it, you will start to see that um, it, it's like, wow, I didn't realize. It could be that you'll then have some money back um, even, and that, that will make you very happy, I'm sure. Okay. 
um, they're showing me so something to do with the past and something to do with payments, um, money payments. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be for every um, Capricorn. OK, so it could be that just some money comes in from other sources um, from, you know, the past. It could be that you've learned in the from the past mistakes not to do something again. Um, and this is going to, um, you know, pay pay off um, or make things easier or better in your future. OK, so you're definitely having to uh, spend out on something. Um, unexpected so sometimes in life it's like well we save money there and we end up having to spend more money here um, so I know that that's not that's called sod's law um, and um, you know but at least it is that you uh, were being looked after or they they did know what they were doing okay so um, yeah you, there will be something that you will have to spend out on that's unexpected or it's more money than you thought it was going to be okay um you know it's like i've got to deal with it i can't i can't ignore it i've got to deal with um this expense okay by the end of the week for capricorns you are going to be in the energy um, of another person who is so similar to you in their um, energy, in what it is that they want and where they're going. Okay, because we've got, look, we've got the lovely card that says the two of cups, and this is togetherness. This is partnerships. Um, this is partnerships that work very, very well. You then have the lovers card um, where, you know, there is somebody very strong feelings, someone who has strong feelings about you, and you have strong feelings about them and this energy it's like you've just been pulled together okay and this is what this card means okay so for some of you it may not be romantically sometimes somebody is being pulled towards you um, and this person is linked with um you know past love or you know they can't stop thinking about you so there may be some conversations like that happening at the end of this week um you are happy to be led now that starts the reading with you know that you're saying universe bring me what you know where i'm supposed to be and this is saying the universe is taking you somewhere you know so it's like she's on this journey and she is being taken you know these birds are leading the way and she's in total trust okay so um let's have a look she's i thought she was pointing then but she's not um yeah so it's like you know sometimes sometimes in life we have to watch out for those signs and i think that this is going to be one of those moments look out for the signs the signs are gonna show you the way so there you go so that is capricorn so we've done all the earth signs now So we're now doing Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. Okay, so my daughter, Rhiannon. Um, so Scorpio is um, Maria and then I'm Pisces and so is my mum. And then my other daughter, Megan, is Cancerian. So we're all kind of water signs in our family. So we're going to do that. Scorpio, Scorpio. There. Okay. All right, so I feel let's probably go back to these cards. To have a little slurp. Okay, so this is for you, Rhiannon, and all the other Scorpios out there. First to the seventh of June, twenty twenty-one. 
cards flew out there. One was the perfection energy and the other one was working really hard. So this, this is basically um, that there's loads of hard work around you at the moment or you're you know, keeping yourself very, very busy. Um, but there's also the energy of um, making sure that it's all done perfectly. So you're not just working fast and, and hard, you're actually working to a certain standard as well. This is your standard. Okay, so. Right. Okay, so the beginning of the week, um, I'm seeing some paperwork, some documents and paperwork. And these documents are linking to, um, okay, what I'm seeing is I can go further with this. Okay, so I've already done well and I need to take it further. Okay, so I feel that this is linked with either education or it's linking with um, a project, okay, a self-employed plan. Okay, it's where that fire up energy um, is reaching a certain point where you then have to do something about it and make some future decisions and choices. You know, how far is this going to go? Um, maybe I need to uh, be more prepared or maybe I need to plan ahead because I'm seeing kind of, you know, filling out a document or form ready for this next phase of the of your work or your ambition journey. OK, feeling very proud of yourself as well, though, um, and knowing, you know, that you are. It's like about to venture into the next level, OK, of your project. OK, so I've got to show you these cards because it's very rare that you get these. So you've got the ace, the two and the three of wands. So if that's not telling a story of ambition, um, let me move the cards so you can see. Ace, two and three of wands okay so this is like you know the the beginning stages of your journey and the next phase will be you know taking that leap of faith going forward um there may be some difficulties coming up um you know when you take that next risk or or challenge um but if you can just keep going past that um and not get frustrated and not um, not take everything to heart, your next energy, your next phase on that will be celebration of achievement. So it is literally coming up for you. Keep your sense of humor, keep your, um, your empowered energy going where you're not taking um, anything or anyone too seriously um, and that you can laugh at yourself. Very important. Um, the new beginnings card is here where everything is on a restart. It's like from this point onwards, um, this is the new, new, uh, the new energy is, is here, okay? And um, the perfection energy is there. So it's like you're doing whatever you were doing. Um, you were doing it this way, and now you found a better way with better results, um, and you're now steering it into this different energy, this different journey, okay? And um, you, will, you will be noticed, you will notice the difference in your work and in your um, achievements. Okay, so the end of um, next week, make sure that you rest, okay? So it's very full on, very, very busy, the beginning and the middle of next week. By the end of next week, I'm seeing that you're needing to put your feet up, you're needing to kind of, um, you know, um, build up all of that kind of, um, it's like ten, TLC, but on yourself, okay? Um, you shouldn't have to nag other people um, to make sure that they look after you as well or take you under their wing to be there for, for you. So it feels as if, you know, there are um, lots of times, um, you know, lots of, it's like deadlines. I'm seeing deadlines, accomplishments. Some of the deadlines are what you put on yourself, but for some of you, there are actual deadlines. Um, and each one of those is, is pinpointed. And it's like, I can see 
that, you know, yes, I've done it. Yes, I've achieved that. Um, it's past my personal best. Um, it's all good. And the end of the week, it's about wrapping yourself up in cotton wool, um, no longer having to put a face on and pretend everything's okay when sometimes it really isn't, um, you know, and saying, I am tired and I need to rest um, and speaking out about it and not just uh, pretending that everything is okay when it's not. Yeah, so um, be honest, honest, not just with yourself, but with others. Okay, so you couldn't go at that pace full on for that amount of time. Okay, so there you go, Scorpio. Pisces, okay, this is my sign and my mum's. Hi, mum, I know she watches these. Ooh. Give me my man. Does that we look alike? Even the shape of our face. <laughs> Mm. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's build the energy up in the cards. Okay, Pisces. That's it. Beginning of the week. God. First card out, the tower. <laughs> so there's going to be a clear out going on um, at the beginning of the week for Pisces. Okay. So it's like you're having to get um, organized. You're having to sort things out, go through cupboards, go through drawers, um, do some spring cleaning, get really organized. I feel that there is something that's going to get very, very busy very quickly. And because of that, that's why you're having to be so strict with yourself. And it's like, get on with it. OK, you cannot delay. You cannot put things back. Um, it all has to go forward. Um, I can see somebody who's got a sharp tongue around you the beginning of the week. Um, and this person is going to be saying things that they shouldn't say. And this is regarding... Um, travel plans or um, going somewhere okay so it could be that um, you know they might not mean to say things um, but they are okay so um, sometimes we just have to take it that they mean well but um, you know what can you do okay so by the middle of next week middle of next week I'm seeing a motherly figure a motherly energy okay around um this mother is um definitely being more um caring more understanding than ever before and i feel that this kind of this kind of energy um is what you need so this motherly character doesn't have to be your direct mother uh, this could be a friend this could be a person who wants to nurture you look after you it doesn't even have to be female Sometimes it can be a man that is very good and very in touch with their sensitive side and sees that you need a bit more TLC than normal. You are putting up your boundaries and making sure um, that you are OK and making sure that the situation that you're in, everything is covered um, and that you have got your shields up. Um, I would say put your shields up now um, for the beginning of the week through to the middle of the week especially okay and this it won't feel so bad it won't feel so harsh this kind of um you know negative wording negative um you know it's like they're they're in a mood themselves and they take it out on you that's kind of the the energy that i see okay and uh, that's why you need to shield up so for some of you, it will be mother. Some of you, it will be a motherly character um, who is going to be bringing you back, nurturing you, getting you um, into that more balanced feeling, okay, and away from that person who has got kind of a, it's like a, an agenda and like a hidden agenda. Um, so it might be that you don't know that um, 
this person, you know, has got this nasty streak in them. Um, I want to say that they don't know what they're doing, but on this occasion, I actually do think that they do. Okay, so you're trying to move away from being angry or frustrated with this conversation, um, but um, everything will work out fine. You just have to sometimes kind of stand your ground. Okay, and it doesn't hurt to, to let somebody know that they've upset you or they've made you cross. Okay, it is okay for that. Towards the end of the week for Pisces, you're back into that balanced energy. Um, this is kind of like, you know, you've got the Ten of Cups um, and it's basically saying I'm complete and happy. Um, I know who I am. I know what I am and I know what everything's uh, going on. It's all good. Um, I feel that you're going to have a bit of a spend up um, and this spend up will feel good. OK, and it's like it's needed. OK, it's needed. So I can see some money coming out of your hands um, and into um, a project or a situation. Um, so this could be um, anything to do with something that you um, are trying out. So that could be trying out a new hobby, um, going somewhere that costs a bit of money. Um, you know, it's it's like buying a new kind of adult, or well, I was going to say adult toy then, but that's naughty, isn't it? Um, but, you know, it's like, you know, as adults, we still like to kind of, you know, it's like for men sometimes, or for women, I suppose, going to buy that new car. Does that make sense? Or, you know, buying a motorbike or, you know, um, for women, it's like, you know, that Porsche handbag or I've never been into those kind of designer handbags and things. So, but for you, it might be. Um, but yeah, so it's like having a bit of a spend up that will then make you feel happy. Um, the magician basically says that you have all the tools to make your life work and make, make things as happy as they possibly can be. Okay. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's basically the, the, your guides are really looking after you. They really are. But um, I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of a, an emotional week, okay? Um, and a need for definite defense mechanisms to go up. Okay. Hi, Tamara. Good to see you there. Okay. So last one now, Cancerians, okay? Cancerians. And then I think I'm just going to go to bed. I was going to do a bit of resin, but I don't think I can. Um, I'm shattered um, and the pain level's high, so. Oh. I thought I heard some scratching then. I thought Cat's brought in something else. He brought in this dear little bird the other day. I think I was live actually. And I, I had this little bird in my hand and it was a little um, little sparrow. Um, I put it in the tree and I think it was all right. I think it survived. Oh, thank you for the hearts, everybody. Thank you. So Lisa, Lisa's Pisces is Sagittarius. Okay. So, yeah, so this is Cancerians now, okay? Let's have a little look at Cancerians. First, 7th June. This is my Megan. This is from my Meggie. Right, onwards and upwards, okay? I'm on a mission and no one's going to stop me. Okay. I know where I'm going, know what I'm doing. Emotionally, I've got to be unemotional about it. Um, I've got to let people go who um, aren't on my wavelength or are um, being negative to me. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm trying not to get into a confrontational energy, um, but I do have. Um, my own ideas about what I feel and what I don't feel. So it's like you're being very defensive against 
your own thoughts and your own feelings. Okay. Very, very um, strong minded. Okay. There is somebody close to you who will feel as though they are uh, rejecting or it seems to be their emotions are um, up and down. Okay. You never quite know where you are with them. And I feel this is around a motherly character or a mother figure, or it could be to do with you being a mum and you having to balance your emotions out. Okay. You're wanting to be what everybody needs at this time. And you know, when sometimes you're thinking, um, I'm doing the best I can and I'm not going to promise anything, but I am going to do my best. Now, the five of swords here is all about boundaries, keeping everybody um, behind a certain boundary so they don't um, interfere too much or, you know, make you feel um, any worse than you do. So sometimes it's like you're safe inside your bubble, but it, it's sometimes that you want people to be close to you, but you also don't want them to, um, where can I put it? You know, in order for you to feel safe, you have to block them out. But to block them out means that they can't be with you um, and they can't get close to you. So, you know, it is a Cancerian thing, isn't it? It's like I'm safe inside my, um, my shell, you know, with the crab. I'm safe inside my shell. And, you know, I walk sideways around situations to try and avoid a confrontation. So, um, you know, that's something that you've got to um, deal with or cope with, should I say, uh, for Cancerians. Um, see if you can just let maybe one person close to you um, and trust them to see if they can um, be there for you, okay? Um, because it is a lonely thing sometimes to be in that kind of safety bubble energy. Okay, so, um, so now um, we've got the independence energy and I feel that you know you have to do so much on your own and sometimes you know you get used to doing things on your own and being that independent that um, you know because it's like well if we want a job done then you do it yourself okay but I feel that there's a lesson with all of these cards right the way through the beginning the middle and the end it's all about allowing people to get close to you is allowing people to understand that you can be vulnerable too and that you sometimes need that support um, and it's okay to ask for it and to admit that you're not feeling you're quite yourself. Um, there is a sense here of, you know, wanting to be perfect, wanting everything to be perfect. Um, and sometimes that isn't always um, that isn't always um, a, a bit able to be um, that perfect. So there's so much ups and downs emotionally. Um, and, you know, you are fighting with wanting people to get close to you, but then feeling vulnerable when they do. OK, and I just feel that this isn't all the time. There seems to be something that is going on that is drawing you um, to this outcome. Um, I've just turned some extra cards over for you. And once again, we've got the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands. So I think you're going to throw yourself into ambitions, into things that you dis things that you know that you're good at, and talents that you know that you're good at, and that is where you you're gonna. It's like losing yourself in that. I must say that when I'm feeling down or anything to do with, kind of you know the the illness and things. Um, that I tend to, you know, find a project to do, just, just sort of mean like a craft project or maybe, you know, sorting out cupboards or drawers or, you know, giving yourself a project so you, it's mind numbing and you, you don't really think of anything else apart from just doing that, okay? And it stops you, um, you know, getting too annoyed about anything, okay? So there you go, guys. I'm sorry, I'm going to rush off, um, but pinching energy um pinching in my spine is is a bit much now so but I did get them all done and I'm really pleased I did so 
Phew. <laughs> so there you go. Um, that is um, all the astrology signs done for this week. And I wish you all a brilliant week. Um, I have got a new Patreon account. There is details on um, this, um, on the comments um, of all the different tiers that I do. I do, um, you know, from, you know, um, a once a month meeting up. Um, this month was my first month. And just to say thank you for joining, I did um, everybody a little reading. So that's to all the people that have joined up Patreon already. So my heart says thank you so, so much. It means so much to me. It means that I can come on and do more free things, um, you know, to and more videos and tutorials and things like that because it's like um there's that's that little nest egg that little little extra um that keeps you going just sort of mean because this is my full-time job um and then i've got mystery gifts that get sent out and i also get give away um a, you know like a, a mini reading a recorded mini reading to um the highest tier um plus um, workshops, class videos, and, um, you know, the mystery gift and the video chat. So, yeah, have a look at the tiers and see what you think. Um, but any, anything is uh, gratefully received. So it's, it's as little as $1.11 a month. Okay, so anyway, take care, everybody, and um, speak to you all soon. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, just quickly, tomorrow is Psychic Development Monday. Okay, so Monday, if you wanted to join in, it's 7.30 p.m. UK time, or that's 2.30 p.m. Eastern or 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. It's five pounds a class, $7. Okay, so um, I'll put all the details in the comments here. Okay, take care, bye.